then we're going to go center of these bleachers and everyone over here. You are my wild, crazy wolf wolf. Can I get a wolf wolf? Hi. Welcome to TTV. It is Thursday, July 14th. 2022 I'm and in today's news... Gallup, New York City, NYC, gives lessons to veterans and people with disabilities. Yeah, they're horseback riding lessons, so to get people to come out of their shell and stuff. And and there was this one time where where this where these people weren't with disabilities weren't verbal, and they got them to say their first words at this horseback riding place. So and speaking of that, horseback riding. It's therapy. And Olivia D Diver says, it helped me come out of my comfort zone and not be shy. And it helped me feel safe, calm, and happy. Gallup, New York City, NYC, has 1,000 people on its wait list for lessons. But people with disabilities and veterans get priority. I mean, that's good because, because if it's therapy and, and, and there's people in, and there, in the article, there is somebody who's in a wheelchair and they couldn't get out, into the shower themselves. They had to have their mom help them. And then they turned around and, get, uh, get, and went to therapy for about a year and a half with the horse. And now they can get into the shower by themselves. And in local news, just hold on loosely, don't let go, you're gonna lose control. 38 Special at New York State Fair Court on Wednesday, August 31st at 6 o'clock p.m. And on this days in history, On July 15th, 2006, 16 years ago, Twitter launches. On July 16th, 1935, 87 years ago, world's first parking meter is installed. And let me tell you, those things are savior, uh, the parking meters are, if you go to Sylvan Beach. Just make sure you have quarters. And change! <laughs> On July 17th, 1955, 67 years ago, Disneyland opens! On July 18th, 1940, 82 years ago, as Franklin Delano Roosevelt nominated to an unprecedented third term. You, yeah, you, you won't see that anymore because you're only allowed two terms as president and in air show news <laughs> United States Air Force Thunderbirds the 75th season is on fire but it's been flown out of and no one was hurt in the United States Air Force Thunderbirds, 
Next air show, July 16th and July 17th, Duluth, Minnesota, at the Duluth Air and Aviation Expo. And the United States Navy Blue Angels frequently asked question, and this one is in honor of the Jacksonville International League team being here during this week that we're recording this podcast. So there's your hint, kind of. Where was the Blue Angels' first air show? So, anybody get the hint yet? And it was at Craig Field in Jacksonville, Florida on June 15th, 1946. In the United States Navy Blue Angels' next air show, July 16th and July 17th. Ypsilanti, Michigan, at the Thunder Over Michigan Air Show, and in Famous Birthdays. See this link? Click this link. And in non-Famous Birthdays, Nicholas Corgi on July 15th, Rebecca Lee on July 16th, Chris Chris Regiri on July 17th, Matt Klepper and Courtney Clark on July 18th, Matt DeFrancisco on July 19th, Kylie Purcell, Mary Lynn, Ashley McGinnis, and, and Mrs. Marasia on July 20th. And, and it's Don Cornett and Mrs. Erin Kincannon on July 21st. And in weather, the National Weather Service in Binghamton has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for extreme northwestern Broome County, Chemung County, western Cortland County, southeastern Schuyler County, Tioga County, Tompkins County, Bradford County, until 7 o'clock p.m. So, uh, I don't know if you guys heard, but they, they, on Wednesday, July 13th, I know last week I said there would there be afternoon thunderstorms in the forecast. Woo, boy, there's afternoon thunderstorms in the forecast, but it wasn't around here, thank God, otherwise I wouldn't have these lights on right now. Um, there is a microburst. In Marcellus, town of Onondaga area, with 90 miles per hour winds. Uh, hopefully those people are all all right, and and and, and rebuild and get their power back on soon. And Friday, July 15th, it's gonna be mostly sunny, with a high of 81. And a low of 61. Saturday, July 16th, it's going to be partly cloudy. The high of 87 and a low of 65. Sunday, July 17th, some more of the scattered thunderstorms. With a high of 87 and a low of 67. On Monday, July 18th, more scattered thunderstorms. With a high of 80. And a low of 66. Tuesday, July 19th, isolated thunderstorms with a high of 88 and a low of 69. Wednesday, July 20th, scattered thunderstorms with a high of 89 and a low of 68. And Thursday, July 21st, it's going to be showers with a high of 82. And a low of 63. And that's your weather. And in entertainment news, Dancing with the Stars is coming back this fall. But not on cable TVs. ABC. And (laughs) it's the first casualty of streaming services. uh, from From those shows. So, sorry to everyone. Who wants to who liked watching Dancing with the Stars on ABC? It is not coming back. If you want to continue to watch Dancing with the Stars, 
It will be on Disney Plus. A lot of the details are to be determined, but but they do have some hosts, and one of them's Alfonso Ribeiro from America's Funniest Home Videos, and he's the co-host. And the other host was on there last year. I don't remember her name at the moment, so <laughs> forgive me, because I didn't watch Dancing with the Stars last year. And in events news, Friday, July 15th, it's all about bats at the Sterling Nature Center at 7.30 p.m. Saturday, July 16th, it's Arts Market at the Central New York Community Arts Center and in Fulton at 8 o'clock a.m. Sunday, July 17th, it's Sound Healing at the Foundation of Light in Ithaca at 2 o'clock p.m. And Monday, July 18th, it's Chess Club at the Liverpool Public Library at 6 o'clock p.m. And Tuesday, July 19th, it's American Girl at the Onondaga Free Library at 3 o'clock p.m. On Wednesday, July 20th, it's the Harmonic Dirt Duo at the Buried Acorn Brewing Company in Syracuse at 6 o'clock p.m. On Thursday, July 21st, like I just told you guys a little bit ago, I don't know if this is going to go off or not. I kind of hesitated even putting it on here because every time I put it on here, it gets canceled or postponed. But party in the plaza at Limestone Plaza in Fedville at 5 o'clock p.m. Friday, July 15th to Sunday, July 17th. It's the Syracuse Nationals at the New York State Fairgrounds. And there's fireworks on Friday and Saturday nights. Uh, can't say I didn't warn you. And Saturday, July 16th, and Sunday, July 17th, it's the Sterling Renaissance Festival. And, and this weekend, as you can tell by the sign, I don't know if you guys can see the sign, but... It's, it's Ale Fest weekend. So it's all for me grog, me grolly, grolly, grog. It's all gone for beer and tobacco. Where is me shirt, me lolly, lolly shirt? It's all gone for beer and tobacco. Ooh. And now it is time for Tim's joke of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is not how this is kind of Halloweenish, but I thought it was funny, and I haven't used it in a while. So, why doesn't Dracula have any friends? <laughs> so, uh, does anybody got anything yet? <laughs> He's a real pain in the neck. <laughs> Get it? Because he, he because he, because he chews your, because he chews on your neck and stuff. So now you can email us at Tim's TV One at Yahoo.com. You can like us on Facebook, Tim's Television TTV, and Tim Bennett Productions. Follow us on Twitter at Tim's TV One. And subscribe to Tim's Television TTV on YouTube. So until next week, I'm Tim. Have a great week. And that's the end of the show. So we're going to go...
center of these bleachers and everyone over here. You are my wild, crazy wolf wolves. Can I get a wolf wolf? 